Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can verify your email address after registering in Laravel. So we already made a registration system using Laravel Brace. So right now what you have is that when a user register and keep that email address and click on register button, it will send a email so that the user can verify that email address. So for it, what you need to do is really simple. We just need to go back to our core, we'll go to our app. Then models in the model in there you can see user.php. So in the user.php you will see this line of code will be comment out. So you just need to remove the slash from here, backslash from here. After that, after this authenticable, you need to set your implements. Then you need to write this must verify email after the implements. And that's all you need to do. So after that, save it and close it. Then we need to go to our .env file. Then let me just go down. And then you need to give your mail mailer equal to SMTP. Main host will be smtp.gmail.com. Main port will be 465. And here you need to give your mail address. The mail encryption will be SSL. And you need to give the same mail address over here as well. And main form name, this will be the mail title. You can give any title you want. Let's say here, place, check the mail. You can say this as well. And here you can see mail password. So where will this mail password coming from? If you watched the previous tutorial, you already know this is the F password. So how can we get the F password? So in order to get the F password, you need to go to your certain mail. For my guess, it is this one in prefill triple zero on. So we just need to go to that certain mail. And here you can see in prefill triple zero on at that of gmail.com. From here, we need to go to manage your Google account. Then go to security. After that, you must have two step verification on. And once you have two step verification on, just click over there. Then at the bottom side, you will see this app password option. You just need to click on this arrow sign. Then you will be able to create your app password from here. So you can just give any name over here. You can say test and then also you click on create. It will create a app password for you. Let me just show you. If I just click on create, it will show you the app password. You need to copy it and paste it in your Laravel project. Since we already have F password in the project, so I'm just going to delete that, which is this one. So let me just save it and let's go back to our browser. Let me refresh here and let's give a name. Let's say here Shakil. Email address will be yamin shakil8 at the gmail.com. Let's give a random phone number. Random address will be Germany. Password will be on two three four five six seven eight. One pump password on two three four five six seven eight. Then click on register. And since we have must verify email is on, so we'll receive a mail. There you can see. Thanks for signing up. So if we just go to our that certain mail, which was Yamin Shakil eight at that of gmail dot com. Let me just refresh. Here you can see the mail address Yamin Shakil eight at that of gmail dot com. So if we just go to that mail, which is this all, you can see Yamin Shakil eight at the top gmail.com. And here we receive a mail. There you can see, please check the mail, which of our uh, mail nail. And uh, there you can see a message. And here you can see that far from one can verify mail address. And if you do not receive mail, to your inbox, you must also check your spam folder as well. Sometimes Google may send the mail to the spam. So make sure to check the spam folder as well. So let me just click here. And then if we just click on this button, verify mail address. And here you can see this button seems dangerous. So for some case, if you do not able to click on this button, just click here and look save. Then refresh. Then you'll be able to click on this button. So if I now click here, there you can see we are about to log in. There you go. And if we just go to our user table, 
then uh, here you can see email verified at it is null but if we now refresh there you can see email verified at this date and type it will show us the date and type so this is how you can link email verification in laravel if you have any question or suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials